through hugs, an Iraq war veteran is trekking across the country, handing out hugs to total strangers. And today's mission brought him to the VA hospital on 10th Street in Indianapolis. RTV6's Eric Cox has more on the man behind the hugs. From Oregon to Indianapolis, today I talked with an American hero willing to travel over 2,000 miles, all for the sake of a brief embrace. May I get a hug from you, sir? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Four months ago, Iraq war veteran Ian Cook said so long to his Portland, Oregon home and embarked on a journey across our nation. Just traveled anywhere and everywhere I could get a hug. And today, that journey brought him and his friends here to Indy's VA hospital. A simple hug and appreciation goes a long way. Cook and his companions say they've trekked over 25,000 miles during a campaign they're calling the Human Hug Project, clinging on to complete strangers who don't seem to mind. Oh, I feel great. Uh, what they're doing is good. It's a wonderful thing because it does help to know that there's support out there. We all go through something after we come back, so all the support is needed. Needed by both sides of the embrace. Cook says he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, a mental health condition he's been coping with since he returned from Iraq. But now, he believes love is the best way for him to heal. A hug is something that I was so disconnected from for so many years that it's kind of my new medicine. And it starts to take the, the sharp pain from those memories. And it, instead, it replaces that with a sense of brotherhood, appreciation, and it, it gives you hope. Reporting on the Near West Side, Eric Cox. RTV6. And Cook tells us the campaign will continue traveling across America, handing out as many hugs to vets as possible. Their next stop, the VA hospital in Cincinnati. If you'd like to help support their cause, you can visit their website at humanhug.me.